Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 playthrough with me, Perry Flax. Um, in response to quite a lot of feedback from people about the view, I'm going to press this key because people want the political view for some reason. I don't know why. I like the trees and things, but uh, people want this. Lord knows why. What's wrong with you? This is this looks pretty like this. Look, trees. It's nice and greasy little towns. This mode is just flat color. But uh, hey, yeah, the people get what the people want. Uh, so what do we got? We got people idle, and our domain is way too big. But uh, I don't care about that so much. Let's put our people to work. The steward. What is this one? I guess this is later things that they can't do now. Uh, well, we do want Devon, don't we? Let's fabricate claims on, on that and. Let's collect taxes. You know, people have taxes. So one thing people said was that it would be good for me to improve my castle um, rather than the city. Um, because apparently you get more money and you're actually in charge of it, which is kind of the thing. Um, but I'm in charge of the city, as you can see, the Barony of Porchester. Uh, oh, wait, so City of Southampton. Okay, so if I improve Southampton, which I have done quite a bit, a lot of that moolah goes to my vassal, uh, Lofwine. Um, what does Lofwine think of me? He hates me. Fucking hates me. He's a powerful vassal and he, he hates me. He's fucking useless as well. He's absolutely sodden useless. It's all right. He's old. He'll be dead soon. Um, but uh, yeah, improve the castle. So I think that would be Winchester. Um, we've got Keep 2, Castle Walls 2, it's a level 4 fort, it's pretty good. Castle Fortifications raises the fort by 0.5. Like, I'm not sure how much of a difference all this stuff makes. Uh, but we'll do it anyway, why not? We'll maximize that. I want that castle to be an absolute son of a bitch to take. So let's go. We're rolling. We are rolling. Now, where were we? It is 881 AD. Egbert has got... Four kids, two sons, two daughters. He's got a hot wife, Queen Mariana of, of Wessex. Don't know if she likes me. She does like me quite a bit. We're both zealous, diligent, and I've got a hell of a lot of prestige. As he's grown older, I can see that Lion King could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work, may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Lion King. Um, do we want to get patient or ambitious? He deserves everything. Go get it, my boy. And Nala could use some guidance. Uh, yeah, she should be ambitious as well. I like ambitious kids. That's how you get shit done. Uh-oh. Princess Mary. Cause of her aches and fatigues is a case of the flu. Call for the court physician. Oh, wow. Your court physician, Leofren, has gained widespread reputation after having worked in your court. She's now considered a renowned physician. Leofren the Holy. Excellent. This is Leofren. She's lowborn, but uh, whew, she knows what she's doing. <clears throat> Young Nala loves keeping her things in order and patiently spends lots of time on it. So she can get fussy or patient. That's the chance of her becoming diligent. Uh, let's try that. Diligent is good. Patient is good, but diligent is better. Fortifications complete. What else can we do in Winchester? My leash! Ah, he's working Cornwall. Use it. Nice. All right, what kind of army we got? Let's just pause this a sec. We got a we got a decent army knocking about. Holy crap, we have. All right, Cornwall. What kind of pals? Are, what? What? Who are your chums? Pacts. Uh oh, mercy. I see a lot of dudes. He's got a lot of friends. Four vassals. I reckon we can take these lads. Oh, these are non-aggression pacts, not alliances. Bingo. King Hopkin II, the cruel of Cornwall. Well, guess what, homeboy? We despise cruelty. We claim Cornwall. Claim the whole shit, shebang. Right, let's get the armies. Raise them to Dorset. I want to know when I can start getting a friggin' uh, personal retinue. That's when you get the really good troops. We're almost here. There's a lot of mans. One mega army. In we go. That's some pretty good marshals, too. Friggin' Herpet's the man.
lost a few lads. The abbot of a nearby monastery has asked that you make a donation towards the repairs of the monastery church. Surely it wouldn't hurt to ensure you're in your monk's prayers. Yeah, I support the church, of course. That was a big deal back then. Big old deal. Oh, we're shrekking them. They're getting shredded. Volley, harass, slow advance, pursue, more pursue. Hurrah, the Battle of Ilchester. And we got Gautier. Jean Paul Gautier is now my prisoner. I think we want to chase down his troops and, and whip them. You don't want to have, to have a stack of troops lying about. Let's go get him. Let's find him, lads. Find him. Get him. Your experience in matters of war has increased. <clears throat> and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? Learn to inspire. Trickster. Experiment. I think we want to be learn to be an inspirational leader. Morale is super important. People, you know, they, they want to fight for a king that they, they respect and they think, wow, this guy's awesome. You know, that's what you've got to do. You can't be fighting for no, no crummy king. The Battle of Swansea went our way. All right, let's go around to Devon. Start taking it. We had a nice fight in Wales. I wonder if that happened back then. He just wandered into someone else's kingdom. So don't mind us. Don't mind us. Just having a little, a little war. Let's kick these Vikings out, for goodness sake. Get out of our lands. Bumheads. Damn right. To Devon. Or can we take everything? This is the question. Or do we? are we just going to take Cornwall? It's quite the siege. Might take a wee while. Are we losing too much money? We're losing money every month, but we'll do it. Money didn't make me happy, nor did respect. Lose is greedy. Oh, okay. Need something else in my life. King Ugbert's the best. He is a great, a truly great king. He truly is a great king. Hang on, forget that siege. <clears throat> can we, we, we can't leave just enough guys to cover the siege, can we? There is a way to do it. Um, has to attempt to assault the, assault the holding. There was a way, I'm sure you could click on a thing that said, leave enough guys here to continue the siege. Um, I could just split in half, but I don't want to do that. Oh, they're almost down as well. How's this siege going? Like, I don't want to have to retake something, you know? Um, Because that's adding more time anyway. Ah, fuck it. We'll just quickly take this. And then we'll pop back in and... I mean, alright, he's taken something, but it doesn't matter. We lost the siege above. It happens. Young Lion King has finished his education. Oh, he's got the trait Indulgent Wastrel. Oh, you useless shit. Ah, she's excelled. She is a charismatic negotiator. This pleases me. Groom and heir. Nice. Done. Unlanded sons. Victory! Let's go beat this guy up real quick. Back in a sec. And remember, he won't have been able to leave much of in the way of a... Uh, look, he's got 56 dudes there. Come on, just to assault that. Bingo. Because he had to leave such a teeny tiny little garrison, you know? Curses. I've got the... Oh, no, I'm a coward. I got scared in battle. But, sir, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit scared. Unlanded sons. Prince Lion King. Could give him something, I guess. He doesn't like me. Siege of Exeter was a, a stunning victory. Kick his ass. 300 men he's down to. Oh my god, I died in battle! Oh shit. I, I didn't even realize I was leading the battle. Where? I mean, I didn't even see myself. Onlaf, Bayer Edgar. I mean, that's not me. I guess I was just in there. God damn it. Alas. That sucks, man. But now I'm King Lion King. Uh, unyielding. Yeah, we'll never surrender. Go in there. Oh, what's this? To the great King Lion King, blessings upon you and your house. We propose that King Loop of Austrasia and Queen Mother Mariana get betrothed. You want a 13-year-old boy, the King of Austrasia, to get betrothed to my 37-year-old mum? King Loop. 
Wow, this guy's pretty fucking connected. Yeah, do it. Have I got a wife? I've got to get married. All right. So, all right. So, wait, wait, wait. We've got some shit to do. We're going to set Wessex as our crown focus. Because that's, that's the, the place to be. Pick an ambition. My ambition is to get married. Become a paragon of virtue. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Focus. Let's go for seduction. Let's... I'll tell you what. I've heard that this is a thing you can do. We just won't get married. And we'll just pork our way around the Empire. The Council's discontent. Ah, they're always discontent about something. Ask for help managing your tiles. I'm never sure what this does. I'm gonna pork my way across this kingdom. Kids lack an education focus. Oh, the peasants are... Oh, fucking peasants. Peasants are arming themselves. Well, oh, god damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um... What's this? Ruler unmarried. You should get married. Yeah, whatever. Princess Mary, I want you to focus on intrigue. What's this? Oh, she's affectionate. She's also conscientious. Maybe she could be a great diplomat. Ah, no. We gotta be... We gotta be in there, in the muck. She's quick. Princess Mary is, is pretty good. She's a good princess. What are you about? You haven't got enough people. Your entire army is... is... Oh. Jesus wept. What was that? <clears throat> Jinx. Died under suspicious circumstances. Countess Ethelreda of Gloucester. Someone killed her. Countess Ethelreda. Her husband was Earl Ulf of Kent. And she's uh, one of my vassals. Dang, look at this. Died in the dungeons. I, I put her, her dad in the dungeon. Her mum died dancing into oblivion from the dancing plague. He died in uh, the dungeons of Bishop Yule Menrick. She died of slow fever. He died in D Duke Digby's. And uh, died after a disagreement with a meal. <laughs> Siege of Tintagel. Tintagel. What a, what, a great, uh, what a great thought that was. How close are we to being able to storm this shit and get this war over with? Special minor title. Um, Master of the Horse. Hang on. Eldmund. We need another commander as well. Lufufuf. Alright. We enforce our demands. Back we go. My king, the more I study the Fraticelli, he's, he's mad! Arrest him! Oh, i got so many prisoners now, yo. Open council positions. Yeah, my chaplains of Loon. Oh, he he's rubbish at everything, but he knows the way around the Bible. Special minor titles grantable. Hold on. My prisoner, Bishop Ethel, is complaining about his dark cell. He's my vassal. He hates me. Uh, how about the fucking oubliette, homeboy? Idle council members. Um, research cultural tech. There you go. Betrothed can marry. Well, what is this? Hold on. My sister... Doesn't like me very much. Can marry her to Paul Map Anil, the commander of Pictland. Can we do a matrilineal? Any children born in the Union will be of the mother's dynasty rather than the father's. This is a way of ensuring the continuation of the dynasty if your ruler or heir is female. I'm going to go for matrilineal. We'll do it. Ruler unmarried. Yeah, and he's going to... Oh, let's, let's uh, stand down in the military. Phew, that's saving some Skrilla. May you live in harmony. You decided to accept my suggestion. All children of the Union will be of her dynasty. You're damn right. She, uh, she doesn't like me. She's ambitious. Her husband, Paul Map, he don't mind me. He's 17. Good lad. He's a good lad. Maybe we should get married and start having babies. Now, they are looting, despite the fact that we have a bigger army. I don't understand that fully. My prisoner is complaining. Oubliette! Commander of Wessex. Need a new commander of Wessex. You're a martial genius, Bishop Mailskit. High almoner. Uh, you know what? Ordger. That's you. 
Lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Cornwall lately. Your stewards are just building new roads. <clears throat> yeah, do it. Um, no, not laws. Council. Uh, positions. I want you to fabricate claims in Devon. Let's get Devon next. Uh, Edward. Prince Edward, you need uh, an, a focus. My boy, you're not the best at anything. You are but six. But uh, I think you should um, be groomed for rulership. Pride. Damn it, have some pride. Oh, I'm starting to think my courtier, Edgith, might fancy me. She's a she's a dumpy wench. I'm going to make my move. Oh, I gave her a good old tumble. It is good to be the king. I'm just going to do this my whole life. I have bastard children everywhere. To tumble with a genius. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a really bad <clears throat> throat problem at the moment. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Scullery maid, huh? Uh, better and make her mine. She'll be my spy. The forest is not big enough for the barons. They demand hunting rights on the church lands after chasing all the game to the churches out of the forest. They're having to stop the hunt. Bishop Ordger would dislike me. Uh, or... You know what? Fuck you, Bishop Ordger. They can hunt on the church land. It's a hunt, by God. We all love hunting. Love it. Love it. Surely I can claim England as mine. I mean, Jesus, most of it is. Gain 50 technology points. Get in there. Okay. Religious adv and advanced. Nice, La. All right, pause it up there. Um, could improve our light infantry. That's always a good thing, I think. Castle infrastructure. Stable 3, Castle Town 3. No building 1. Ah, no building 1. Construction. That speeds up construction speed, but by like 2%. Like, it's good for this. Um, barracks 3. Nice. Alright, so legalism is really important. High centralization, late feudal administration, regulated inheritance. Tolerance. There is majesty. This is the one that expands your... Gives you more things. I'm trying to remember what the thing is that gives you... Different culture and religion, we don't really care about that. Majesty's pretty good. Let's get majesty, for Christ's sake. I'm the king. Monthly piety and monthly prestige gain. And a uh, short reign. People don't give so much of a hoot. How, do, how much do my vassals hate me? Universally. But I'll win them over. Uh, a son was born to Paul Map Aniel and Princess Nola of Wessex named Wolfstan. My nephew. And he's of my dynasty. Sweet. Shut the gates. Why do we want to do that? Is there a disease? Your sister Nala has asked you to consider her for the position of Chancellor. While she, you are sure she would be up to the task, it would be an unconventional choice, if not an outright scandalous one. Your vassals would not be happy. So she would dislike me. But uh, Bishop Diego's opinion changed by 15 for five years, and he's fired. Bishop Diego, are you worth a shit? Is she really good? Oh, she is amazing. Do you know what? That's a good idea, Nala. You're you're on board. You're on board. I want you to fabricate claims in Devon. Oh my goodness. Oh, there actually is. Shut the gates! Shut the gates.